Come on, let's go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree, no. It evolves into Metapod, you dumb shit. It evolves into Metapod! Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy here, Michael, with playthroughs for you. Bringing you another episode of our Hardcore Iron Man Randomized Nuzlocke. We're getting straight into the action uh, today. There he is, there's the Surf. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, first of all, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Go ahead and watch this episode, and if you end up liking the content and you want to see the series from the very beginning, which I highly suggest because, wow, what a wild ride it's been, the link is in the description down below. Uh, and I also upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm going to do that for well over a year. So uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button to get all this beautiful content. And if you end up enjoying it, just hit that like button. It's all that I ask. Maybe share it with a friend. Talk about it. Talk about how wild and crazy I am and how we're part of the, the big boy donger club, the BBD. And if you want to become part of the BBD, all you have to do is subscribe. That's it. It's that simple. It really is. <laughs> it's really that simple. But we're getting straight into some fat action today. I'll tell you that right now. We are going to be taking out all the trainers over here to the east. And then... We're going to be fighting Blaine. We're going to be making our way through his gym. We might find out what our Helix Fossil is today. Uh, I don't think that we will, but we'll definitely find out next episode. So get those guesses in if you want your chance to name that Pokemon. Uh, I don't care what it is. Uh, you will get to name it. Ooh, this is our encounter. And you know what? I don't care. See ya. And for those of you that are returning, thank you all so much. I truly appreciate it. You guys are definitely the best part of doing this. I love talking to all of you on Facebook, on here. It doesn't matter. Wherever we're talking, it means the world to me. You guys sit down and watch these episodes and just listen to my beautiful voice. How do we miss? Donger. Come on, get it together, bro. Weezing, just go for self-destruct right now. Okay, I was hoping. I was hoping. I don't think we're going to one hit. Oh my gosh, we might not even two hit. This is a dangerous game we're playing. Because we could be poisoned and have to use a heal immediately. Alright, cool. We're not going to be. I always felt like... Fire should have been really good against coughing and wheezing. <laughs> just because... In theory, they should just explode. Uh, from the fire. Because of all the gases. But that's not how it works. Not in Pokemon. Alright, so we got Razor Leaf, Elite Seed, and Poison Powder. D is definitely going to be our fat staller. If only we could get Toxic. That would be better than Poison Powder. We also need another move other than Growl. I mean, if D goes to learn Solar Beam, we're definitely going to teach it, but... <sighs> I don't know. Actually, maybe it's better just to have Growl to weaken attacks. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. We actually don't have that many, um, we don't have that many trainers out over here. I think maybe like three more after this lady. So, it's not going to be long. We're just going to fly back over to Cinnabar Island with Donger. He's getting in there. He really needs to learn Flamethrower. Like, that's the thing. We really got to get him to learn Flamethrower before we hit the Pokemon League. Ghastly. No, we're fine. We're Gooch. It's fine. We'll just use fly. Boop. Hypnosis. Doesn't do anything. Our team could have been anything, but look at our dream team, ladies and gentlemen. It could have literally been trash. This run could have ended like episode three or four had we not had the legend himself. But we did. We got lucky because we're running this on yellow, so we didn't even have a choice. What we were stuck with is what we got. Alright, we still don't know Flamethrower. I don't even know. I don't want your pearls, lady. I don't care. I have way more money than you. Let's see if this guy actually wrote his bird Pokemon here, ladies and gentlemen. Is he a fat liar? Or is his PP so big that he's telling the truth? We're going to see. We're going to find out. Alright, this thing could also know self-destruct. But it's not as powerful as Weezing. Alright. As long as we hit, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Let's use Bite. Yeah, Bite that Pokeball upside down. Alright. Paris? Nope, so far he's lying to us. 
It's giving us a fat lie. All right, Ember should be enough to KO this thing. Cool. What's next? He does not have a flying Pokemon. He does have a Poliwag, though, so I guess he could have surfed here. Maybe he's so high off his boat that he, uh, he thinks that he's flying when he's actually just surfing. So we still have one more uh, static legendary encounter. We've got the Moltres. We've got the Master Ball for the Moltres. If this is something game-breaking like a Mewtwo or an actual legendary, we might be able to pull this through. D's definitely going to be the Pokemon that I replace if it's a good Pokemon. I got the fat Hitmonchan here. All right. We'll just use Fly. But yeah, I mean, D's the weakest uh, for sure. Um, Alakazam is just, oh my god. Nebly is in it to win it, I'll tell you that right now. We've got Savior. We've got Donger, he's out in front. We've got Legend. Then we've got, is it Sploosh? Or is that my other run? It's King. Sploosh is my other run. I'm not on vacation. I'm about to be. I'm about to go back and get back into the gym. Start pumping some iron, working out. Porygon. I really hope Porygon wins Community Day. For those of you that uh, play Pokemon Go, I really hope you guys vote, and I really hope uh, you vote for whatever you want. But personally, I hope that uh, I really, I really, really hope. Oh, this thing knows recover. That Porygon wins Community Day because the shiny just looks so cool. I just really like it. I just really like how it looks. Conversion. All right, let's go to Fat Slash here. Beautiful. Muck. Yeah, that's we're definitely bringing Nebly in. Use that beautiful side beam. I just hope if we got a Mewtwo, I oh my god, I think we'd be able to do it honestly, especially because we have side beam TM. So even if he knows Confusion and doesn't know Psychic. I think we'd be able to do it if he can learn it. But I don't know. Even a Mew. Like, even a Mew would be so good. We'll see. Get our hopes up. A lot of our encounters have been real good. I mean, they can't all be real good, so... It is what it is. I'm still going to use D when I can, because even if we don't end up replacing her... Alright, we're good. We can fly back now. All right, we're here. Let's get in it. We're going to be fighting each and every one of these trainers. Because that's how this run's going. I don't care, bro. I don't care. I just want to fight. Oh, my gosh. Do I, do I have to get it wrong? Oh, I have to get it wrong, don't I? We're going to take the quiz. Pokemon quiz. Get it right and the door opens. Hell yeah. Come on, let's go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. No. It evolves into Metapod, you dumb shit. It involves into Metapod! <laughs> Either way, that question is worded horribly wrong. Alright. So we've got Donger here, and we're just gonna switch. Get D in there. Harden? Don't care. We're going straight for that fat PP Razor Leaf. We got nothing. Okay, we're good. We're a okay. Magnemite. Now we're fine. Let's use another one. Magnemite's not steel type, so no need to bring Donger in. Don't fake a one hit. Probably get a Sonic boomed. There we go. Hopefully we crit or hit a range. Because I think we just did maybe a little over, maybe a little under half. Alright, Supersonic. Well, that's not what I like to see. Alright, D, fight through it. That's what I'm talking about. That's our girl. Alright, we're definitely going to switch out now. 
Marowak. We'll bring in our Bully King. He's ready. I don't think we brought him out at all last episode. We've got Surf, we got Fly, Bite, and Dragon Rage. What a move pull this guy's got. This should definitely one hit the Marowak. Alright, cool. Absolutely beautiful. You better surrender, you turd. Alright. This guy doesn't even have a question attached to him. He doesn't even care. He's so lazy, they didn't even do it. Didn't even do it. Alright. Chansey! Oh, not Chansey. We slash. I don't feel like having this thing use a bunch of minimizes. The double slap does two damage and hits two times. The two two, the two two two. Illuminati confirmed. Triangles. Please flamethrower. For the love of God, nope. All right, Polyworld's coming in. We're doing D. We're getting serious. We're getting to the point where we're so close to the end of the game. And I still don't know if I'm going to train or not. I, I, guess, I guess I just got to see where we're at. And I don't even remember what uh, level the trainer's Pokemon are. If I'm being 100% honest. I really don't know. In the Pokemon League. I know they start off at like 50 but I don't know what Lance or our rival has. So I don't know if it'd be better to be like 55 maybe, or like f flat 50. I couldn't tell you. Honestly, couldn't tell you. Growth. Nope. Mm, nope. I'd rather have Growl. Yes, hot, hot, hot. Let's get two of them there. There are nine, sir. There sure are nine. <laughs> That's fine. You study all you want, man. I will still uh, whoop that ass. Ghastly, huh? We've got lots of beautiful beautiful moves that hit Ghastly. Oh, do not put us to sleep. Do not paralyze us either. Donger, can you just hit? 100 accuracy moves are not 100 accuracy by any means. Metapod! Caterpie's true of all form, ladies and gentlemen. It's not butterfree. It's definitely not butterfree. Dragonite, okay. We got Legend. He's got Rock Throw. Six only level 34. Alright, it's not bad. Could be worse for sure. Agility, huh? He's already faster than us. Rock Throw misses. Typical. Let's try again. Cool. Should one hit. A, there we go. Our type coverage is so good, but I'm still worried. I'm absolutely worried. <laughs> Look at that mouth. It's like... <laughs> it's just open. He's a mouth breather, ladies and gentlemen. He's a mouth breather. Alright, Donger's doing it. We're making our way through. Wish I could just talk to him and it'd let me battle him. He definitely evolves three times. You're wrong. He evolves into Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, and Politoed. That's three times. Come on. It's not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen. I know what Pokemon is. We've gotten all these questions right. I feel like I've been bamboozled. I don't like that. We have two flies left after this one. Donger's going to be getting switched out. 
Alright, it's another screech. It's fine. As long as we hit. There we go. Alright, Tonger. It's all good, buddy. You did your best. Too hot to handle. Don't know. We'll fight one more. But you won't be leading the way. We'll put King in front. Definitely a good one to put in front. All right, are their thunder moves effective? Uh, yes, they are, 100%, as long as they're dual type. We've gotten all these moves correct. I don't know what's happening. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Alakazam, huh? Well, we've got our boy out in front, King. We're going to go for a fly here. All right, Alakazam's faster than us. we got to be careful. Does it know Psychic? God, I hope not. Doesn't matter we one hit, because why? King's a legend. Looks like we can fight another trainer. Al's right, my dude. Get set to get wet. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. It's the end of the episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you uh, definitely enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, and until next time, I'll see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.